Hi there, family. As always, I am so happy to be back with you. And that's not a cliche, you know. I really enjoy doing these notes. So we talked about trust. We talked about thankfulness. All right, today we are talking about testing. Testing. How many of you like tests? Oh, I think I see a few hands. All right, let's get going and we are going to pray first. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you very much. Thank you so much for your love and kindness and goodness to us. We thank you for being such an excellent teacher. You know the exact kind of test that we need. And, and you're such a great teacher that you not only give us the test, but you tell us how we can pass it. I pray that you will continue to be with each of us now. For Christ's sake, amen. Right, okay. Now, of course, many of us, some of us who are, some who are listening might still be in school. But I'm sure many of us have long left school and those days of sitting on the old hard bench and being um, tested. But having left school, we haven't left life. <laughs> so life has its own um, test as well. Now, when I was a teacher, I must admit, when I was at school, I must admit that I like doing tests. I like studying and I like acing the tests. When I was a teacher, admittedly too, I love giving tests. I like to see whether students understood the things that we had discussed. And for the forms that were real difficult and troublesome, sometimes I would give them a lot of tests because that was a method of class control. Confession is good for the soul. <laughs> but you know, God is, our, God is our divine teacher. And there are times that he allows us to go through tests because he wants to teach us some lessons. And if we are all about learning, I can tell you in this life, we can have some of what is called teachable moments. Now, one of the things that I would note between a God or teacher and other human teachers, there are some teachers I would not like this. There were some teachers who would set tests and, and set them real hard to see who could actually pass the test. You know, nobody can pass my test or maybe just a few people. But God is not like that. Any test that he has designed for, to come into our lives, he has also designed that we can pass those tests as well. So you might, might ask the question, because sometimes people say, but why, Lord? What purpose do you think tests serve? Have you, have, have you had any tests in your life and you were, you were wondering what is the point of this test? But let me make some suggestions to you. Tests reveal weaknesses. Sometimes you may think, oh, I'm good on this thing, but God knows that you're not good on it. For example, and we are tested in different areas, but again, what I would say, and this reputation, the principle of passing the tests are really all the same. Now, my test came in the area of health. I was a vegetarian from 1980 or so, and as far as I, as, as, far as I was concerned, I was eating good as ever, although I must say, I disliked it when people thought that if you were a vegetarian, all you ate was vegetables as though you were some kind of rabbit. So as a result, I must say, as a vegetarian, I really did not eat a lot of vegetables. I just made sure that my food was in the vegetarian line or in the vegan line, as it were. But it's a lot, lot more than that. So second point as to why um, the, the purpose of tests, so to show us our weaknesses, areas that we need to come up, and how to pass uh, any test God gives you. You can't pass it except you are surrendered to God. You are surrendered to him, working out things for you, and not trying to dictate to him and tell him what he must do. And uh, it is important too to know that God sets tests not unendingly there there's a there's a beginning and there's an end you know the text there's a there's a time and a season and a purpose for everything under the sun and the other wonderful thing about God when we think about testing is that he weighs and he measures the test so he will never give a person a test that they cannot bear that they cannot stand up under as long as they um depend on him um, right. The other point I wanted to make is that we need to hold on in our test. We need to hold on. If it's a storm, you need to hold on because God is not going to fail us. He is going to show us how we can pass our test. 
And the important thing too, one of the important things about tests is that God wants to turn our test into a testimony. So the next note, we're going to be talking about testimony. So please stay on track with me as we continue trekking with our T word. God bless you. Have a great day. And we are going to catch up very soon again as we talk about the testimony.